Play a G sharp on this thing. Hey there, J Metcalf here. Uh, Yamaha sent me one of these things. It's a casual wind instrument. It's called a Venova. And I gotta say, I had absolutely no interest in this instrument, but lots of people were saying, oh, do a review of the Venova. So here it is. How does this compare to a real saxophone? I'll play the same thing on both of these. And you tell me in the comments which one you think sounds better. All right, so I think we've established that this thing is nowhere near the same level of musical instrument as a real saxophone is. The main problem with it is it doesn't really play in tune. You know, I've been watching Venova videos in preparation for this one on YouTube. I've watched a bunch of videos. I haven't come across anybody that can really play it in tune. Some people can make it sound pretty good, but nobody can really get all the notes in tune. And the other thing is the sound. I mean, what does it sound like? It sounds kind of like a, I don't know. You know what? I don't know. What does it sound like? Let me know in the comments. This instrument comes with a nice Yamaha mouthpiece. I guess it's like a 4C soprano saxophone mouthpiece. It has a nice silver plated ligature and a pretty nice uh, synthetic reed that comes with it. Keep in mind that synthetic reed is pretty resistant, not a good choice for someone who's a beginner. If you get this and you've never played a reed instrument before, get yourself some softer reeds like number two, uh, number two and a half. Uh, this is gonna be too resistant for you at first. I'm not playing on that mouthpiece. I'm playing on my mouthpiece. This is a Van Dorn mouthpiece. It's um, a bigger tip opening. My reed, it's just because I'm more comfortable with that setup. The mouthpiece it comes with plays okay. This one is the Alto Venova. This is the new version. It costs quite a bit more, uh, but it's kind of interesting. It's cool because you can use your Alto saxophone mouthpiece on it. Of course, it does come with a good Yamaha Alto sax mouthpiece. I'm using my own and my own reed. What's kind of interesting about this one is it comes apart in the middle, it actually becomes more compact than the other one. The fingerings are slightly different for this one. It has the same kind of intonation issues, but I do find that some of the chromatic notes are easier to get on this instrument than on the original Venova. Let me play something for you on this, as well as a real saxophone, so you could kind of get the idea of how it's not a saxophone. <laughs>
let me take this opportunity to try and answer some of the questions you might have about this instrument. First, is it easy to play? The answer is yes and no. If you're already familiar with playing wind instruments like saxophone or clarinet, and you're not really bothered about intonation or being able to play chromatically, if you just want to play in one key, yeah, it's easy to play. Now, I'm sure if I spent some more time on this thing, I could develop a pretty decent technique and sound quite a bit better on it. But why would I want to do that? I play the saxophone. And if I want to sound bad, I'll just get my clarinet out. Now, keep in mind, I'm a professional saxophone player. I've spent decades developing my embouchure and my sound on the saxophone. So what you heard me play is probably about as good as it's gonna get on this instrument. Uh, so if you're a beginner, keep in mind at the beginning, it's gonna sound worse. The first question I had when I saw this is, would this be good for young kids to get a head start playing a wind instrument like the saxophone or clarinet? You know, maybe their fingers aren't big enough or they don't have the strength to hold up those instruments properly, but maybe they could play this. I don't really know because I haven't given this to a little kid yet to see how well they play. I have searched YouTube and I haven't really found any videos of any kids playing this thing. Uh, not to say that there aren't any. Uh, I do have a four-year-old at home and I'm gonna give her this and see if she's able to make a sound on it with a really soft read. I'll let you know how that goes. Do kids really need a head start on playing saxophone or clarinet? Not really. I mean, they can get a head start by playing the recorder or playing the piano. So the jury's still out on whether this is gonna be helpful in that way. Now, maybe you're somebody who's always wanted to play the saxophone, but you're not ready to commit to the real thing yet. And you might be asking yourself, can I just get one of these instead? Uh, you know what? If you want to play the saxophone, just get a saxophone. Uh, I'd rather have a cheap saxophone over one of these any day. So who is this thing for? Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, if you're a saxophone player or clarinet player, I don't think it's really for you, uh, except in one circumstance. Let's say you got to go traveling and you can't bring your saxophone with you, but you want to keep your embouchure chops going. This is something you could fit in a very small bag, bring with you anywhere. It's not really all that loud, so I think you can get away with playing it in hotel rooms and whatnot. And, you know, if you just wanted to keep some embouchure chops going, this is kind of a fun way to do it. Now, it comes with a case, but if I was going to travel with this, I wouldn't bring the case. I would just throw it in whatever bag I had because the case is kind of big and takes up a lot of room. I think the Venova is much better suited to the sort of person who just likes to jam out on different instruments. You know, if you're the sort of person that's got a ukulele and a cajon and a didgeridoo in your living room, you're probably going to get into this instrument too. It's fun but it's not really a serious instrument. Like nobody's gonna be writing Venova concertos. Now, if you're gonna be jamming out with your friends on other instruments, you're gonna be pretty limited with keys. I'd say C, F, and G you can kind of get away with. After that, it's not gonna be very easy. And if you get the alto version of this, keep in mind that that is a transposing instrument. So if you're in the key of C on the alto Venova, everyone else is gonna be in the key of F. Now, let me be totally honest. My first impressions of this instrument were not very good. I started playing it and I expected to be able to sound really good on it right away as a professional saxophone player. And it was kind of frustrating. I couldn't get it to play in tune. I had to look up the fingerings on all these notes. The fingerings are really weird. I wasn't really having fun. And you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, well, there's something wrong with this instrument. It's a poor design if I can't sound good on it right away. But after spending some time playing on it, I got to admit, it's kind of grown on me in a very weird way. The main thing I don't like is that it's nearly impossible to play in tune. Maybe there's something they can do to improve that. Also, it seems like they kind of went halfway with the being able to play chromatic. They've got all these keys down here. Why not put a couple pinky keys on the left hand uh, or a side key or something so we can get B flats, F sharps, G sharps a lot easier. If we can do those two things, 
this wouldn't be all that bad, actually. Maybe Yamaha's got some improvements like that in the works for a future version. Anyway, I've got to admit that in the short amount of time I've been playing this thing, it's growing on me. I went from, I don't like you at all, to, eh, it's not bad. Uh, we could be friends. Uh, I think it's better for people who are not professional musicians. If you just want to have fun, play some melodies, mess around, play some stuff with the kids. You know, this can be a good instrument for that. If you have really exacting demands about intonation and being able to play fancy stuff, get uh, a real instrument. This is somewhere between a toy and a real instrument, I'd say. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button before you go and subscribe to the channel for weekly videos about saxophone and saxophone related things. See you soon.